Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 7.0.4. To do this, you're going to need to have an iPhone 4, since that is the only A4 device that currently works with iOS 7. This is because the exploit that is used for the iPhone 4 and other A4 devices is a boot ROM exploit, which cannot be fixed with a software patch, so there is always a tethered jailbreak available for these devices. I said it's a tethered jailbreak, which means that you will have to rerun part of the process every time you want to reboot your device, and this does only work on the iPhone 4, so don't try it with any other devices. We know this is only one device and a lot of people aren't going to have this, but we figured it's a little bit complicated, so we wanted to make a tutorial for people out there who did want to know how to jailbreak the iPhone 4. So to, before you begin this, you're going to need to download several things. The first is you're going to need to download this Rage Break application. The second is you're going to need to download and install the Java Developer Kit. So you'll need to download the disk image from the Java website and then run the uh, package installer to do that. And finally, you're going to need to download the IPSW for your device. So for instance, the iPhone 4 is iPhone 3, 2, 7.0.4. So that's what you're going to use to download and install on your phone and then make sure you drag it into this folder so that you can use it with the jailbreak. So once you have all this stuff, you can go ahead and open up the Rage Break application. And it should open in a terminal window, window just like this. And what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to press 1 and hit Enter. And it'll go and download some stuff, so let it complete all of those. It may prompt you to download Xcode. If it does, go ahead and do that. It'll be a bit of a big download, but once you get it, you'll be able to do the jailbreak. So we'll just let all this stuff download and let that all run. Once it completes all of that, it starts printing it out. Then we'll be able to move on to the next step. And I won't make any cuts just so that you guys know the full length of how long everything should take so that you don't see any cuts or, or you see the whole process of jailbreaking the device. Alright, so now it's prompting us to put the phone into DFU mode. So if you don't have it plugged in yet, you can go ahead and plug it in at this point. And then to put it into DFU mode, it's the same process as always. You're going to, and I just plugged it in so now it's opening up, but we can go ahead and close iTunes. and close iTunes again because iTunes is dumb. And then we're going to go ahead and put it into DFU mode. So if you don't remember, that's going to be hold the both the power and home buttons for 10 seconds or until a few seconds after the screen goes black. Then you're going to release the power button and hold just the home button for another 15 seconds. And once you've done that, you'll see an alert from iTunes, which means you can press enter on here. And you go ahead and press enter to confirm that you are okay with what it's doing and it'll, it should open this up after you press enter a few times.
And you can see iTunes is saying it's detected the afternoon recovery mode again. And again. All right, so now we can go to this screen, press enter. And hit enter again and just hit yes. And then the password we're gonna enter, like it says, is Alpine. And it won't show up there, but you can go ahead and hit enter. And it'll ask it for it again. You can see it said you're gonna have to enter it a lot, so Alpine. Alpine, Alpine, and press enter. And once we're done there, we can press the key here and it'll return to the main Rage Break screen. And once you've done that, you're gonna go and select the proper model here, depending on which iPhone 4 you have. So you have either, either uh, 3.1 for GSM AT&T, 3.2 for GSM Rev-A, or 3.3 for CDMA Verizon. So select the one that corresponds to your device. You can look up the model numbers to tell you which one exactly your iPhone 4 is, but select the one that corresponds to your device and hit enter. And then it's going to say connect the device in DFU mode. So we're going to go ahead and once again hold down the home and power buttons together for 10 seconds. And then after the screen goes black, release the power button and hold just the home button for another 15 seconds or until it moves us on to the next stage. And we know it's happening because uh, iTunes is popping us and telling us that it has an iPhone in recovery mode. We're going to hit OK. You can close out of iTunes. And you can see over here, it keeps popping up. We'll just move that down to the bottom since it keeps popping up. But over here, the Rage Break is going and uh, patching the phone in order to boot it in DFU mode. So we'll just let that all complete. And your phone screen will be flashing throughout this. That's what's supposed to happen, don't worry about it. And once it finishes that, you'll see a familiar screen which has a bunch of white text scrolling on your iPhone which is to be expected, so don't worry about that. And you can let that 
load up because it means that your iPhone was booted successfully and you can press any key and you can see it brings us back to the screen. So now you're going to wait for your iPhone to uh, boot up and once your phone is all booted up you'll still need to go back into the Rage Break and select 5 in order to install Cydia. So we're going to hit that, hit enter and it will tell us to insert our phone's IP address. You can find that by going into settings, going to Wi-Fi, making sure you're connected to the same network on your computer, and uh, hitting on the little information button that you might be able to see there. Um, we're just going to tap on it right there. Um, and you can see it says IP address. We're just going to type that in to our uh, thing here so for us it's 10.0.1.61 and hit enter and we'll wait for it to connect to our phone so that we can install Cydia over the network so wait for it to do that and it'll ask you if you're sure you want to continue, just type yes, hit enter, and it'll ask for the password, as usual, you're gonna choose Alpine, and hit enter, and wait for it to install all the Cydia files that you need to. You might have to enter your password multiple times, but just enter Alpine again, and it'll download all the files that it needs. And then I'll go on and start unpackaging all of the debs that it downloaded to install Cydia. And it'll say press a key to continue. Your iPhone will be displaying this screen right here and your iPhone will start to reboot but it won't be able to unless you're booting tethered. So we're gonna go ahead and go through that process again. Once again, make sure you choose uh, the correct option for the phone you own, either two, three, or four. I'm gonna choose two, hit enter. Whoops, got something wrong with the uh, interface there. And then hit two. And once again, we're gonna have to put our device into DFU mode. So go ahead and hold both home and power for 10 seconds until the screen goes black. Then you can release power and hold down just home. Oops, looks like I didn't hold it long enough. Hold home and power until a few seconds after your screen goes black. And wait for it. And then release power and just put hold your device's home button until it boots into DFU mode and it can begin booting your device. So this will be the same process as last time, except that now we have Cydia installed, so our device will be able to, you know, download our own packages and stuff, and 
the same thing will go, your, your device will go through the same thing it did before um, with flashing screen and eventually displaying text. I'll show you guys that when it gets there. Um, now, obviously, this isn't as nice as uh, red, a red snow jailbreak where it's all a graphical interface, but you can see now the text is scrolling down the screen. So that's what you're going to see if your phone is doing the correct thing. That means that it is booting up properly and being able to move everything around so that it can have a tethered jailbreak. But that's all you have to do to jailbreak. We now have Cydia installed and our device is jailbroken. Remember that every time your phone reboots, you will have to go through this process, just, just the boot process again. So um, just the part where you choose number two and then connect your device in DFU mode. You won't have to you know, install Cydia or go through the first step again. That's just gonna be, um, if you restore your phone or re-jailbreak it or something. But now that our device is booted up, we can go ahead and open it up and see that we have Cydia installed on the home screen there. So that is how you do it. And if we open up Cydia, we will see the screen of, um, you know, what are you, user, hacker, developer, and that will tell you that Cydia is fully working, it boots up properly, and that's all you need to do. So if you have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments. We'll try to help out people who are having trouble with the jailbreak. All the download links you can find at the, the text instructions down below, in the link down below. But that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching, and remember if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments, and please subscribe.